What up, Light Tribe? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to this uh, moment. My name is Elliot. And I'm a rainbow warrior. <laughs> and if you're watching this, you probably are too. Uh, made a light. Which is all the colors. All the colors and uh, divided but not divided. Divided only to express and never truly separate. But the expression is beautiful. This is uh, free will tarot reading today, a few days before. Hallow's Eve, which means that yeah, it's for when you're watching it, because it's always a few days before Hallow's Eve, starting November 1st. The way to interpret this is uh, less as like uh, how it relates to your own life, and more how it relates to the one life, to all of us together. Uh, as above, so below. As within, so and without. Feel me? All right. Let's get started. Ace of Wands, reverse. That's what that shit looks like, upright. That's what it looks like, reverse. This is the first thing uh, spirit wants us to feel. The thing with free will tarot is uh, you exert it in the reading. The opposite would be bound by programming, which is to say that everything has uh, a meaning that comes from without you and you don't see the connection is within so what you're seeing it, you have no control over which is um, false light baby it's not true so ace of wands if I was doing a whole reading on it I'd be like this is what it means but it means nothing Unless uh, it, that's separate from others. So let's see what else. Ace, one, wands, fire, passion, expression, ideas. Ace of Wands, Nine of Cups coming out kind of sideways. And over top, Ace of Wands kind of like so. Six of Pentacles. an auspicious time uh, the fullness the definition our idea of uh, what it means to be emotionally fulfilled is at a crossroads and the glass upright full glass down empty or pouring out I believe that this is less of an indication of uh, 
transition and more of the secret to having a thing like emotional contentment is the act. A fullness of emotion, there is no container that is still. But love is a channel. that comes from us to each other. And the direction that it makes is towards the Ace of Wands with the Six of Pentacles over top. And the Ace of Wands in reverse, it looks like the path, the wand. And the cloud is the, tr the, the moving from the etheric the less uh, physical, the more subtle. And reverse is just um, direction because uh, in the picture that it's making, it's to give towards the Six of Pentacles, which is uh, the act of giving. The act of giving in balance. The act of giving to those that are asking because um, begging is the illusion of uh, the meek and downtrodden's uh, requesting. So we're moving into a time where uh, the truth is coming out of our hearts and it's coming out within and so without. What I really like also about this guy here is if you see his arms crossed as it is uh, what's the like this is body language means I'm closed off can you see the infinity can you see the flow running perpendicular to the direction because where it comes from, the root ha has to go through us, where it's transmuted, it, it, it's uh, us, ours, and then moves through to, uh, to the cup, where it becomes our passion, and our ideas, that is meaningless, or burns us up, or um, goes nowhere unless uh, we give it to, to others and unless we receive it from others. Because all giving is generous and all receiving is in uh, humility from your poorness. I'm not poor. Why does it gotta be about you, you? You is a symbol. What else? Part of our story. Of, of now, of this moment. I had a really interesting quote from uh, this book I was read listening to. So I just needed some fiction to. Engage my mind uh, a little differently, and it was it's Paulo Coelho's uh, "The Spy." It's about uh, 
Mahatta something Dutch vixen freedom fighter rainbow warrior over time uh, and she said which really struck me it was synchronous for me maybe it'll be synchronous for you those that do not know the future are never lost I know what that means for me and for my us. What's that mean for you? Can this tarot reading be less about predicting and more about uh, becoming? Another quote that was very powerful for me because of my own power was the river of the past, the river of memory, sorry, flows backwards. Maybe that's an activation for you. Next parts of the story came out like this. The Queen of the Bird Tribe, Nine of Wands. Not sorry, Nine of Pentacles and uh, the Two of Wands. Also in relative reverseness to where I'm sitting. In reverse, in relation. Because if those both two cards are in reverse in the card in the pack and they want us to come out, uh, there is no time. Position is relative, and they want them to come out together. Or however, you know, spirit was like, I know you're going to do this and that, so here it is. Uh, the the red caps, the red turbans, they both came out uh, more or less in position. Uh, one each over uh, the meek, the beggars. And with the red turbans, what color was his hat? It was red as well, I think, yeah? Yeah, the giver was the red. Uh, that was re was red turban and red cloaked, and uh, that's awesome. I it feel everyone's got red caps. Like feeling a little left out. Nah, <laughs> black absorbs all the colors. Black is the power, but there's more. It's like taking the uh, the red and, and it transitioning up from more of the body to uh, the crown. And as it moves through the ether, the, the flow of energy, of emotion, it like its amplitude rises in its recognition of uh, polarity and gender the nine of pentacles represents success in business, success in the material with very much the energy of okay, check this box, now what? The 
uh, gloved for protection from the talons of the the messenger bird because all birds are messengers is indic is indicative of uh, giving and receiving because messages take two to tango and uh, she has one arm down and one arm above kind of like the magician and the below is over the pentacles over the material and the above is uh, in line with her crown and <laughs> and uh and where the falcon, hawk, pigeon, whichever, is resting. It has a little red crown too. And the male is not looking at the horizon like the Three of Wands, where he's like, Everything the light touches. <laughs> you know, it's he's got direction. Or maybe he's and also he's a little bit closer to his last destination. Like the nine of pentacles being like, I'm here, I'm good, where are we going? And he's like, I have the world in my hand. And uh but like a map and my walking stick. which is uh, the Ace of Wands still. Right? And she's like, cool, because I've got the pentacles. And they're like, oh, we're not separate. We're really one. Representation. Because we're moving away from the perception of uh, of dualism, less as an end and more as a state between. Nine of Wands in reverse. Next to uh, the Nine of Pentacles. Uh, with the nine, uh, Two of Wands, there's two Nines. And then the Two, kind of over top of it. Because this idea of emotional uh, contentment, emotional fulfillment as an act of giving and receiving it has been hard won. We deserve it. We've earned it. And in case you don't know, This is the symbolism. And in relation, because in each of these cards, the one is really the many. Especially as in each of these cards, there's one kind of main character.
and within each of us, along with in relation to each other, we've uh, we've felt everything. We earned the head bandage. And when we're no longer hurting, it's not covering up anything. It's actually just like a white bandana, like a sash. And we're wearing it a little sideways because it's gangster. Because going from red to white is in one way encapsulates it all right going through the whole spectrum for fullness and with nothing covering the crown the very top uh, there's like it's no longer a cup with a bottom and an opening it's uh, a channel for what we are what we have and what we're giving And the staff that we hold is the staff that we're choosing because we have a closet full of staffs. Staves. And one person's leaning is another person's um, empowering. Because as a tool of uh, human power conductivity, the staff can stand higher than your height, which is physical and also symbolic. And the tighter you hold it, the more it acts as an antenna or um, like a dipole for the antenna that you are as well. And once more, if I sorry, if I haven't mentioned it again, it's worth mentioning. If it's if I haven't mentioned it, it's again being mentioned. Worth it, always worth it. Repetition is the mother of skill, and father is fucking not beating yourself up over it. Nine. It's like four. It's like okay, cool. What's next? And I'm used to seeing this because I choose to but just in case uh, actually I don't know does that look like what's that look like in reverse I don't know if it comes out in reverse for you um, but what's Roman numeral X and 1 is 11 and that can be twin flamey or we can go deeper than that and recognize uh, the power in numbers as geometry, as framework, as the building blocks. And 11 isn't one more than 10, it's um, It's the first two that are one, that are the same, and contained, and the only, with its own name, 22, 44, 101, 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, there's no, there's none of those numbers in eleven. It only appears like one and one. I feel like there's not m much more for today. 
as I said that. Spirit has a wicked sense of humor. And you know that I do, so it does it all the time. With me. Just fucks with me hard. Because I love it. Let's see, actually, you can go like that. The way it came out when I was like, I think we're almost done. The lovers came out. In, um upright in relation to um, the bird queen and um, the lord of the world which are now both a little askew, a little sideways uh, and the same as uh our emotional contentment movement and then the knight of cups and then at last the four of wands a little sideways but landing in connection to all of them like it's over top and without blocking the first uh... <laughs> alright here we go Marriage is divine. And lasts forever. Everything happens first inside. And then expresses itself inside the next container. And the emotional, the love, the love, because it's all like, what's emotion? It's love. It's love in different states and different degrees. And the love isn't held or being dumped out That foundation is giving and receiving. Giving to the meek, and we're all meek. In balance, or in, yeah, in balance, uh, from the rich, kind of like Robin Hood. I guess kind of like in Batman too. <laughs> And we're all rich. Wealth is a bad word if you look up the definition. It always, it, all it has to do is it, it, it pertains to material, materiality and, uh, and money. Not currency, money. But rich. Richness in color. Richness in life. its opposite is pale and none of them are good or bad words the binary seeming giving and receiving coming from one is the connection of the masculine and the feminine. The feminine aspect of having, being everything. 
and the masculine aspect of uh, direction where we've been and where we're going now that is only united in the realization that the having and being all is where we've been and where we're going. That our wounds are also our armor. And that after they heal, they become our crowns. But there is no unity without striving. For the one that is all is one unlazily. And the return to one is the realization of the origin of our of all our happiness and all our suffering. Only then uh, are, are the lovers uh, united. And they're not holding hands. They're united uh, divinely. For what connects them is the ether, the spirit, which are it's like another uh, masculine feminine, because the ether is a little is like submaterial, and spirit is like sub. source and the combination of all of such and the acceptance is the acceptance and realization of our divinity of our immortality that there's that we're all channels and there's like a hierarchy there's an order a process the masculine is looking towards the feminine the feminine is uh, one hand extended towards the masculine but looking towards the angel towards heaven and the heaven is looking down upon them all for the next card uh, is the high priestess it was a Boaz and Yakin the almost Kabbalic but really that's all those words uh, another representation of the masculine and the feminine but the high priestess uh, is another piece another self fractaled the close to the root of the unseen or rather the seer of the unseen now 
along this is the only other card that came out upright in relation to me as the six of pentacles uh which is in reverse to the nine of wands that it's over top of which is gorgeous the the, the masculine nine upside down kind of like the hangman next to the feminine unconscious which is upright but represents the unseen and the material because uh, the fire is like the first line of the physical meeting uh, the divine because this balance is coming now from uh, us all seeing the the unseen within us without us what we weren't seeing before and the knight of cups The Knight of Cups is in reverse to me, but so, so he could be facing the Nine of Cups. Because the Four of Wands sideways represents represents like a kind of reunion union as opposed to reunion almost like a first time of the blue and the red uh, opposite ends of the spectrum And sideways like this, the four wands look like uh, two equal signs, or two elevens, or one eleven. Or twenty. And my numerals. Okay, I love you. So this is our. This is the the, the summary, the cap of. This is the cap sum of the reading. Love is flowing. The realization of the source of love, our source of being, is being awoken and realized. within each of us seeing 
that we contain everyone and that how you treat another is less conscious it's already chosen because you can't not treat someone like you would treat yourself and without external influence whatever that is becomes honest and we're honestly um, we're honestly lovely in balance with the masculine and the feminine but the only way that that arises is from uh, giving and receiving all the different parts of the one organism communicating and balancing themselves with themselves but we do not live outside of the fabric of light and shadow that uh, we all are in together. And after the effort, the trial, the journey, the lifetime, truly, of realizing self-union, self-marriage, our own wedding wedding to what we've earned from ourselves for ourselves seeing our hidden as what we were hiding as opposed to what we weren't being allowed to see. That this, that's love. Love is like a cup upright or down there's no love but lovers lovers loving and when in our own fullness We in that process, that's like inner cycles, uh, like spiral cycle, uh, mounted and winged. through uh, rivers and valleys. We continue that inner union by uh, taking our cup as it becomes full and pouring it sideways to begin or renew. One becoming two, and two becoming one, and maybe marrying another. But that act doesn't happen 
after uh, what feels like union as much. Like the four of ones, the together. It's almost like home. That is over top at all. It's the roof. The bridge. The wreath. And it's not finished. But the, like all this inner union, inner marriage, and everything like that, that only. <laughs> All of that inner results uh, expresses itself in the outer um, as like a kind of stable idea expression it's the base of um, stability if you wanted to build a fire. Bottom of the deck. King Gemini. King Pentacles. bottom of the deck, or rather the top, depending I guess on how you're looking at it, is the Four of Swords. Uh, the opposite of waiting. Or meditation in action. Gonna, that was for you to like if you wanted to uh, engage yourself and create your own meaning
deck is the like Abraham Hicks. It was a gift. So I'm just gonna pull a card. It's called Ask. Ask, and it is given. In my appreciation, I offer no resistance. It's a white horse. I'll show you that. Kind of unicorny. Appreciation and self love are the most important aspects you could ever nurture. Appreciation of others and the appreciation of yourself are the closest vibrational matches to source energy of anything we have ever witnessed anywhere in this universe. Every reality has been focused by someone into being. You were taught to face reality before you knew you were creating reality. Do not face reality unless it is a reality you want to create. For any reality only exists because someone has focused it into being. Those statistics about your experiences and others are not about any hard and fast now reality. Believe and then see it instead of the other way around. And then this one is getting into the vortex. Same peeps, Hicks and so, Abraham. Uh, we all need to become more familiar with vortex. Um, thinking, being, seeing. I usually have to like shuffle these guys like a million times before any of them follow. There must be some swirling. Okay, there's these three and then we're done. Never done. Everything is always working out for me. Nothing ever goes wrong. Because every piece of contrast, no matter how wrong it seems to be, is always helping you to clarify what it is you do want. And that is the thing that we want you to remember most of all. The contrast, no matter how it looks in any moment, is contributing mightily to your expansion and contraction. Hug, squeeze, squish. The things that you call things going wrong in your life experience are actually only the distance between the things that are so right and your current perspective about them. I intend to see the best in everyone. No. Oh, this was that last look like. That's what this one does. You can never consistently motivate anybody to anything. Love that. But when you see the best of them, and you go over to where your version of the best of them is, you align with that and offer one signal. Now you are part of the inspiration. You see? Have you ever had the experience yourself when someone sees you and loves you and expects the best of you? Do you not shine in ways you never shined before? And do you not find it really hard to shine when another does not look for the best in you? I like this one. My attention to unwanted can't defy the law of attraction. 
and she's got a fucking wicked picture. If your life has caused you to ask for an improved situation, no matter what it is, and you are no longer offering chromatic thought vibrations that are opposite of your desire, your desire must come to you. But you cannot continue to keep alive within you vibrational patterns of what you do not want and receive what you do want. That defies the law of attraction. I have to say to that last one because just to connect it to the one about contrast you cannot keep alive the vib within you the vibrational pattern pattern of what you do not want and expect to get what you do want but what you do not want can be a vibrational pattern within you of where you've been it can be the contrast it can feel like the past it must there must be a point from which you're moving not paying attention to what you do not want if it doesn't relate to anything else then it's just going to survive So what you want and what you do not want are vibrations within you. It's that you don't focus on the do not want, but you focus on your desire. Memory is a river that flows backwards. The future is coming to you and unless you swim sometimes hard it'll feel and you will be moving into your past but you're never the current is never stronger than your ability to swim. The secret is uh, to not look back. I love you guys. Whenever you see this reading is exactly when you're supposed to. Uh, watch it, parts of it more than once. And you will, that like speak to you and it'll be like process of not repetition but movement of rethinking recalibrating thanks for doing this with me I don't know if I showed you this but I have the call to one last time this was right after the king of the material. I love you always. Namaste.